sometimes I need it that obvious for the teeth to match. <laughs> I was sitting there looking at that for days, thinking it was a feathered cape on a pregnant goddess. But right there is the famous tooth outline that's everywhere. This is the back of his head. This is where his plumes go. You can see the one broken right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So then we have the 10 ton one. This is mine. Um, mine. Yes. I, and it was discussed with Jessica. That's, that's my head. That's the head I'm taking to the neighbors. That's mine. Uh, thank you. <laughs> now, I've several times looked at this. Jessica had sent it to me on the way here. Uh, we had just left home. I wanted to come running here because obviously this is a magnetic anomaly map of her backyard. See that? spot right there is my first dig hole. That's where we found the 600 pounder. This here is where Ninja Gita took off from. That's the parking lot pad right there. Deeper uh, talk. Everyone calls it talk. Ninja Gita. This here is the small one. The little pyramid style pyramid. And this here is your step pyramid down here by where I've been digging over here. Um, there is an entrance to this one right over here. Um, we'll be back. Now I stopped believing in coincidences while ago. Not too long ago, but a while ago. And uh, we've accomplished an awful lot in a year. Um, let's see. Bobcat here was made one month after we hit the road in the RV. Um, not a coincidence. This guy will sit around and make a long, long paragraph stories about Seamus and I. Uh, how I uh, let some other family raise Seamus while I was selling his sister and, and mother for crack, uh, stealing spanner wrenches and lighters and everything else. Um, obviously, he is one of the Five Eyes guys or Derek Bros himself. Which, I'm not sure of that because, uh, God, these fucking assholes. Um, Robert Lockwood is their bros. Uh, Carl the Lama. Uh, he, he's the one that was trying to um, get my information out of Polly. Offered to marry her. That was, that was a while ago. I don't remember if all y'all remember that or not. But a uh, year later here now, we have drove to the middle of Michigan and pulled out tonnage of the feathered serpent. Mardi Gras, black jade motherfucker, blue kachina. <laughs> Good try, Bob. And the only place you ever will see Bobcat is over here at Lee's place, clapping hands and making stories up. Now this guy, he's like some content creator just said, touch my content and I begin reporting you, pig fucker. Wonder who that was. I said that. I did yesterday and the day before and the day before to show you greed and lies. My greed and lies. I left my home. Where I had plenty of fucking comfort and income and everything else. I was doing good for years. And this whole fucking scenario came up and I realized I actually got to get up off my ass and go do what creator asked me to do. Now we have accomplished the fucking seemingly impossible. 
Traveled across the country, dug a hole, found a fucking temple, found a fucking is thousands of fucking little snake heads that don't belong here in the middle of fucking and for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks this guy's been the three weeks i've been in the hole every day four or five fucking entries two or three fucking videos about me now let me ask you something do you really think lee and i are fighting or do you think lee is funded by the goddamn government to do this seriously are you fucking kidding me who in the hell has this kind of time and effort and motivation he's not sick well he might be he probably is he's got more motivation than you have any idea the man works for the elite he is the elite's tool to keep their secrets secret they can't touch the information because it's impeccable information. Your moon is doing a fucking cartwheel. All he can do is a concerted effort against me and make you people think we're fighting. Oh, it's ugly. You need to leave Lee alone. If I was leaving Lee alone, I'd be on a goddamn island somewhere sipping a fucking Mai Tai, motherfuckers. This is the entity that I fight. This is the liars. It comes out like this. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? It isn't obvious enough by now. I'm not fighting with this guy. I'm defending the truth for fuck's sake. So this is all my content right here. I just showed you my effigy that Jessica and I, the owner of this land, had discussed already. Matter of fact, she's dropping off the kids and coming back here a little bit. We're going to be puffing, drinking coffee together before I roll out of here. We did. Now he's going to tell you what I what I videotaped and showed you the other day. See, she was a little concerned, and so are others, that the tribe could come in here and take control of her land, and et cetera, et cetera. Jessica wants a heritage spot here. They're not going to come in here and be able to take her land from her, is what I'm saying. They better leave her alone. They're going to open a heritage spot here, a national heritage spot. There's a difference between opening a fucking heritage spot and taking her, her land from her. I came looking for my bloodline temple because it's the only temple on the planet that will react with my DNA. It is my birthright. But he twists it and makes it sound like I'm trying to make a move on her land. <laughs> That's cute, man. <laughs> God. Oops, someone not happy has been caught lying again. Guess that's why he got to lift my nuts from off the floor and grab his fucking effigy and move on to fresh audience. <laughs> Bobcat. He said last year. Did you really think I was coming to cold ass Michigan to steal someone's property? After digging a hole and finding the feathered serpents and my grandfather's temple. I, uh, wow. You guys are really small-minded. 
No. I came here for the fucking proof. Now, I have a physical proof. I have a head. I have a head I'm going to carry around to the native tribes. And I'm going to the ones that were murdered after they made the fucking snake pit first. Jesus, you're stupid. You're fucking incredibly stupid. I can't believe the government pays you to do this. This guy puts in almost as much effort as Lee does fucking making up fabricated stories about how I let other people raise my kid and shit. It's fucking... You're stupid. I'm moving on because we started this to alert the tribes and unify the tribes. Well, guess what? I've got a head. Now, Jessica and I are sitting here talking this morning about what's going on. Here, let's hear her words about it. Listen to those people online. You ain't done anything that made me think you were trying to steal anything. Or fuck them. I'm fuck them. Fuck you, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> so in short, Crater has miracles going on on this planet. How in the hell out of centuries and centuries everybody looking for fucking Atlantis? I found it. Because <laughs> Crater wanted it found. This is the <laughs> temple that Toth flew away from over, over as the waves washed over. Is this one was washed over. Not to be uncovered until the days of the end. Guess what, motherfuckers? You're on short time. Yeah. I know what's coming. You know what's coming. But we don't know what it looks like. We'll find out together, won't we? All I got is some wise fucking words from Cheryl over here. Crater did not create poodles. Stop acting like a fucking poodle, people. <laughs> You're a steward. Oldest first, folks. If you don't understand what's going on here, hit that little fucking option, oldest. Work your way back to this one.